well out there. Thank you for coming. Before we begin, there's something I have to tell you. Tomorrow is Mary's wedding. It's a July wedding on a Saturday morning in 1920, two years after the end of the Great War, or as you might know it now, the First World War. So tomorrow is Mary's wedding. Tonight is just a dream. I ask you to remember that. It begins at the end and ends at the beginning. There are sad parts, but don't let that stop you from dreaming too. Right on. 
The branch was this big. But what if you had been in that swing? If the lightning had hit you, you wouldn't be laughing then. Oh, of course not. But you weren't hit now, were you? The chances of you being in that swing, in that rainstorm, at that exact moment, are very small. Almost two. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Shh. Easy there. Easy. See? Horses know. It's only a bit of rain. There's nothing to be afraid of. Yes, there is. Only if you mind getting a little wet. One one thousand. Shh. Uh, it's going to be all right. Just a bit more and then it'll be over. Uh, you know what? When I'm afraid, I like to talk to myself. Talk to yourself. Sometimes I sing a song, or I recite a poem, a part of something I can remember, and then it all turns out fine. Do you know any poems? The Charge of the Life Brigade? How does it stop? I don't remember all of it. I'll help you. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Well, half, half a leap. Half a leap. Half a leap forward. Onward. Onward, right. All in the valley of death rode the 600. Onward the light brigade. Forward. Forward the light brigade. Charge for the guns, he said. Into the valley of death rode the 600. Um, forward the light brigade. Is there a man to say? Not though the soldier knew, someone had blundered. There's not to make reply. There's not to reason why. There's but to do and die. Into the valley of death rode the six hundred. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. See? It's going away. It always does. So what's your name? name? Sorry. Sorry. Mary Colmers. I'm Charles. Charles Edward. Charlie, really. Well, nice to meet you, Charlie Edwards. I don't know you. I, I mean, I've lived here all my life, and I know most everyone, but I don't think I've ever seen, met you before. Mother and I just arrived here to join my father. Where from? From England. To live with the colonists in the wilds of the Canadas, as Mother put it. Across the Atlantic on a liner. I've never seen the ocean before. What was it like? Blue. I thought it might be. <laughs> <laughs> I still dream of it sometimes. You dream a lot? Oh, all the time. Most lovely dreams. Me too. What are yours about? Oh, I don't know. Barnes? Not as exciting as crossing the ocean. Oh, I think bonds are very exciting. They're all the rage in London. <laughs> oh, the storm is over. Oh, I love the smell after a rain. That I do like. Well, then I guess we can go. No sense in hiding out here all night. Yes. Oh, I am so late. <laughs> Mother will think I've been abducted by savages. I, I can take you right home. We'll have you there in no time. It's really not that far. There's plenty of room for both of us. I shouldn't. Are you really? Are you afraid of something? He swings the barn door open and the sky is sunset blue clear with one bright star and more coming. The smell of trees and grass after a rain pushes away the stuffy barn. Charlie seems to change. He pulls himself with his hands and puts his feet in the stirrup and pulls himself up. He's now ten feet tall above me. Are you coming up? Here, take my hand. I'm up in the saddle. There's nothing I can do but move closer to him. Hold on, Mary. You'll be home soon. The long blades of 
grass blend together and blur. The fence posts smudge as they rise up and by. One, two, three, four, five, six. A bird flashes across our path. His wings flicker three times and he pushes himself. Flicker three times and we're gone by him. The evening air has turned to wind as our horses' hooves drum out and splash through puddles in the road. Charlie's horse breathes as she runs in, out, in, out. Her hooves thunder and pound and splash, thunder and splash right onto the hollow deck of the bridge. The bridge goes by with a deep brown rumble and then splash on the other side. I think what I'm feeling is fear. At least that's what I think I'm feeling. The speed and the noise, breathing and thundering. But this boy, who was terrified and hiding one moment, and then fearless and flying with me the next. Fearless and flying with me, body to body beside him. And before I knew what I was feeling was not fear, but something new. When I finally had an idea that what I was feeling was entirely different, Char Charlie's already gone. And I'm walking up the 30 steps to Mother's front door. The 30 wet stones and my heart is still breathing and thundering as fast as a charge. My feet, my feet are carrying me slow to snail. That night, I dream only of Charlie. Oh, I, I hear church bells. I dream of, of white dresses and flowers and little babies. And Charlie is there for all of it. Oh, I see him with horses. I see him running with them, riding in, in fields, in forests, in evenings, in mornings. I see him running. Smiling with them all the way to the shore. I see him on an ocean liner. I'm watching him sail away. The war is on and the Canadians are being sent to England. And then France. And before long, the heart of Germany. I can't believe it. We're finally joining the fight. Me, Trooper Edwards, 1st Troop Sea Squadron, the Lord Strathcona's Horse Regiment. The strange thing is I was never here. I was at home in my room. I was never there with the people on the shore. This was not how we said goodbye. When Charlie sailed, I was too busy with the train. Great big birthday party. Oh, the sun is shining. The St. Lawrence is glittering. There are children waving and babies in mother's arms. All those arms and voices. 30,000 men. 7,000 horses on 38 ocean liners. What are they going to do when they see us coming? The bands of pipes play across the waves. And all the men on the decks all wave back. Look at that. Isn't that something? I will see you, Charlie. I'll charge the Germans for you. Remember me. I'll be home soon. Hooray! 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 Hooray. I'll see you, Mary. I'll be home soon. I'm gonna marry that boy. I'm gonna marry that girl.